Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video we were discussing, we have discussed already up till session number 60. So in this video we will be beginning from session number 61 of the English class of fifth. So we have to choose the correct spelling, choose the correct spelling of benevolent. B-E-N-E-V-O-L-E-N-T, benevolent. Or benovalent, B E N O V A L E N T, benovalent. Or benovolent, B E N O V O L E N T. Or benovalent, B E N O V E L E N T. So I think we all know the spelling of benevolent, which is we will not pronounce it as any other thing but only benevolent. So the correct spelling will be B E N E. B O L E N T, benevolent, which is option number A. That is the correct answer. Okay. Moving on to question number 62. The correct synonym of the word zenith is synonym means the similar the words having similar meaning. So for the word zenith, it will be infinite, bottom, pinnacle, or medium. Definitely then it doesn't mean infinite or bottom, it will be pinnacle. That is option number 62 is C, pinnacle. Okay, pinnacle will be the correct option. Moving on to question number 63. He acted dash at the dinner table. He acted seldom at the dinner table. He acted lately at the dinner table. He acted clumsily in the dinner table. He acted hardly at the dinner table. Seldom will not be so. Lately at the dinner table, lately will not be the word if you want to mean that he came late at the dinner table. So lately, we will not be able to choose here. He acted hardly at the dinner table. Now, this is also not the correct format. So then we are left with the option of option number C, 63C, that is clumsily. Okay, so clumsily is the word that we are left with. So he acted clumsily, you know dinner table at the dinner table something is not in a proper way and you know he was hesitating and there was a lot of problem he was not opening up so uh, the correct answer will be something next moving on to question number 64 the price of this mobile phone is higher than yours choose the edited form of the underlined words from the options given are higher than yours is higher than you, is higher than yourself, is higher than that of yours. So the price of the mobile phone, of this mobile phone is higher than the one that you are having, right? So the price of the mobile phone is being compared. In that case, let's see option A, are higher than yours. No, this will not be. Is higher than you. We are comparing the price of the mobile phone, okay, right? Not the person is higher than yourself. Again, we are talking of the person where this is the wrong one. We will be talking of the price of the mobile phone. So option number D is the one only left See, is higher than that of yours. Then that of yours means and that of your mobile. So that means the price of your this mobile phone is higher than that you are having. Right? So option number D is the correct option. Is higher than that of yours. So the correct answer for question number 64 is option number D. Next, moving on to question number 65. The young teacher was brimming with confidence. Identify the adjective in the sentence. Young teacher was brimming confidence. So which is the adjective? You see the adjective. Now we all know what is the definition of adjective. So teacher, it will not be. That's a verb. So was brimming is again a verb. Uh, teacher is a noun, was bring is a verb, and we are left with young. So, uh, 65A is the adjective that is young. The young teacher was swimming with confidence. Okay, so young, the word young describes the teacher. So, this will be our adjective. That is 65A young. Next, moving on to question number 66. I need to check dash, I have brought my umbrella. Choose the correct conjunction. I need to check provided I have brought my umbrella. I need to check whether I have brought my umbrella. I need to check less I have brought my umbrella. I need, need to check until I brought my umbrella. 
provided left will not be here because we are not having any other conditional part of it right so i need to check whether i have brought my umbrella okay until we are not signifying of any time also so in that case until will also not be the option so we will say i need to check whether i have brought my umbrella that is option number b whether next moving on to question number She has now organized her documents in properly labeled files, changed to passive form. So the question that is given to us is in the active voice. We have to change it in the passive voice. So there are only two types of voice that is available: active and passive. Active is given in the question. We have to change it into the passive form. See, her documents were now. being organized in properly labeled files she has organized her documents then in properly labeled files her documents have not been organized in properly labeled files her documents have been organized then in properly labeled files okay so first we will change the active into passive then we will come to the identification that which one will be a correct option see she has now organized her documents in properly labeled files she has will change into had she had organized now will change into then so let's frame it she had organized her documents then in properly labeled files so we cannot use now and then now will definitely change into then so if we write she has then organized so that will be a wrong format what we will write she had organized her documents then in properly labeled files right so this will be the answer so according to see her documents no option a is wrong option b she has organized her documents then in properly labeled files yes this is the correct option See her documents again. Option number C is wrong. Her documents again. The number D is also wrong. So we are left with only option number B. Option number B is the correct answer. She has organized her documents then in properly labeled files. Okay. Next, moving forward to question number sixty-eight. It is late and dash to get any sleep. i must go it is late and dash to get any sleep i must go the options are if i am unless i am going if i am got should i okay so let's see it is late and if i am to get any sleep i must go okay this is still suitable let's see the other options it is late and unless i am going to get any sleep i must go no this is not suitable because of the last part it is late and if i am got to get any sleep no again this this is not the suitable one it is late and should i to get any sleep i must go again this is also not the correct option so we are left with only option number a right it is late and if i am to get any sleep i must go so option number a is the correct answer if i am. moving to question number 69 weather forecasts aren't reliable aren't very reliable and should not be weather forecasts aren't very reliable and not ought to be weather forecasts aren't very reliable and not will weather forecasts aren't very reliable and never will be still uh, option number 4 will be the most applicable one right the weather forecast aren't very reliable and never will be okay so we will mark option number d as the correct answer never will be. next moving to question number 70 the princess was very generous everyone liked her for her dash innocence we have to choose the most appropriate word childish that is everyone liked her for a childish innocence everyone liked her for a childhood innocence 
everyone liked her for her child like innocence everyone liked her for her child innocence see childish is applicable but we are talking of the a grown up princess right she is not a kid anymore so what we can use here is not childhood childhood is a period of her, her being a child so child like innocence she is an adult but her innocence or her generosity is like a child so we will use here the word child like not even the word child like a child means actually a child not an adult so everyone liked her for her child like innocence she is a grown up person but her innocence is very much like a similar to a child so child like innocence option number c is the correct answer which is child like next moving on to question number 71 neither of the girls dash to collect their certificates so neither of the girls have come to collect their certificates neither of the girls has come to collect their certificates neither of the girls are coming to collect the certificates neither of the girls has came to collect the certificates so we have to choose the correct option that is the correct form of the verb here and neither of the girls have come is will not be there has come will be the correct option because they haven't come yet right so has come is the correct option next we will move on to question number 72 and 73 we arrange the following words or phrases to make a meaningful sentence choose the correct sequence into the water everyone crowded to see jump around him so a b c d e f or a b c f d e b e f c d a or b e c f d a which will be the correct option for question number 72 everyone crowded so we are beginning with first everyone crowded okay number 1 everyone crowded next we will come to see everyone crowded around okay this is two everyone crowded around him okay everyone crowded around him uh, to see to see okay to see jump that is number 5 jump into the water okay this will be the last one see everyone crowded around him to see jump into the water okay so this will be the correct sequence accordingly we have starting with b b e f then c d a b e f c d a so accordingly a is not the option b is also not the option c is the correct option okay so we will mark only option number c as the correct option okay next moving on to question number 6 uh, 73 cold a uh, it was beautiful day okay cold a uh, it was beautiful day so first we will begin with it was right so it was a beautiful cold day right it was a beautiful cold day we can even write it was a beautiful day but then cold the word cold we will be missing it out you cannot write it was a beautiful day cold that will not be so the correct one it will be it was a beautiful cold day that is uh, c then b then we have b then we have a then e okay c b b a e that is option number a okay c b b a e okay next moving on to question number 74 Answer by choosing the most appropriate option. To tie yourself in knot means to get into trouble, to get confused, to lie, to stuck between strangers. To tie yourself in knot. Knot means a whole lot of confusion. 
so if you have when we say you have tied yourself in knots that means you are so confused that you cannot make a proper decision okay it's not troubled sometimes we confuse or we misunderstand knots as troubles but no it is not trouble we will say it is confusion to tie yourself in knots that means to get confused okay that is option number b 74 is option number b next moving on to question number 75 Someone has lit the fire. Choose the correct passive form of the sentence. Again, what we will do here, we will change into the correct form. That is, come after we will choose into or uh, change it into the passive voice, uh, voice, and then we will identify which will be the correct option. Okay. So for question number seventy-five, this is given in active. We will change it into passive. Someone has lit the fire. The fire. has will change into had so the fire had been lit by someone okay since it was had so we will change it into the past form that is had the fire had been lit so we cannot choose only had singular here had been we will use here so the fire had been lit by someone because someone is also there in the question so the fire had been lit by someone the option number a is not the correct one you are requested to light the fire by someone no the fire has been lit by someone this would have been correct but only because of has see has is given you so has is not the correct option we have has in the question so we will change it into had see option number c the fire had been lit by someone the fire was lit by someone was will also not be why because in the question we have has okay if it was is then we could have thought of it so the correct answer to option number 75 is option number c That is, the fire had been lit by some. Okay, so we will mark option number seventy-five as the correct option. Or uh, seventy-five option number C as the correct option. The fire had been lit by some. Okay, so we have discussed the part of uh, English that is up till question number seventy-five has been clearly discussed. So I will request you all. I'll, I'll advise you all to follow the previous video also for the questions that have already been discussed. And for general science, we will begin in the next video from question number seventy-six on this. So I hope you have understood clearly the thorough discussion of all the answers that are also made. So do follow and keep following. Thank you so much.